Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to play a tune called Patty on the Turnpike. Now this tune is more of an intermediate to advanced level tune, so if you're not quite there yet, don't worry, I have plenty of other tutorials on my channel that are directed toward beginners, so feel free to check those out, but if you're here and you're ready to go for this tune, then just keep watching. And as always, if you enjoy this video and find it to be helpful and learn something, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're here for the first time and not yet subscribed, I post videos just like this one twice a week, every week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button below along with the bell so that you don't miss a video. So for this one, we're gonna be starting on the D string with an open D and we have a jump up to the E string during this first phrase. So watch out for that. ending there on a G, and then we come back to the A string starting on a D. Okay, so we had a few F naturals in there, if you caught those, and we were kind of just going back and forth between the A string and the E string for that one. And then we're gonna come down to the D string and we have a little scale ascending starting in this next phrase. Okay, and then we're gonna slide into a B natural. So we go B flat into B natural for the beginning of this next phrase. And then at the end of that, you can add in that little octave double stop if you want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and play all of that together so that you can listen for anything you didn't catch the first time or feel free to play along with me if you want to. So here we go. One, two, three. So the form of this tune is A, A, B, B, pretty standard form that we have going on. So now getting into this B part, we're gonna be starting on the D string with an open D. Going back and forth between the D string and the A string, and you can just leave your fingers planted whenever you're able to, so that you don't have to lift and reset every time. And then we have a similar pattern for this next phrase. We're just coming down to an F natural. So we're starting on D, going to an F natural. <laughs> Okay, so same bowing pattern there, but we're staying on the D string using a fourth finger for our A. And now for the last phrase of the B part, it's gonna be the same as the last phrase of the A part. So it goes like this. So now we would go back and we would play the whole B section again. It repeats itself just like the A section did. So I'm gonna go ahead and play all of the B section for you so that you can play along with me. One, two, three, four. <laughs> all of Patty on the Turnpike. I hope you enjoyed learning that one. Now, if you have the melody down and you want to take this tune to the next level, maybe add a little bit of style, a little bit of texture, you're always welcome to do that with double stops. And my recommendation for double stops with this one would be to add in some octave double stops. I showed you that one at the end of both of the sections, but you can also add in a few more. There are some other opportunities where we can throw those in there as well. So definitely take advantage 
advantage of that. And then at the beginning of the B section, there, when we have the string crossings, there is a spot where you can incorporate some double stops as well. And I'll play you how I would do that. So what I did for the first one is I played both the G string and the D string together and then I went to the A string and the D string when we had melody between those two strings. And then when we had the phrase that goes from D to F natural, you can actually plant your second finger between both of those strings so that you can use that as a double stop as well. So those are a couple of options for you. Like I said, if you want to maybe add a little bit of texture to the tune once you're comfortable with the melody. Well, thanks for sticking around and learning all of Paddy on the Turnpike with me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, we have a virtual jam workshop coming up this Sunday. If any of you are interested, it's gonna be held over Zoom and you can sign up using the link in the description box below. It's always a lot of fun. In this particular one, we're gonna be just jamming on some standards, a lot of which I've taught here on the Tune Project. So feel free to join us for that. It's always a lot of fun. And if you're watching this video in the future, when the 28th of March has already passed. Don't worry, we have workshops the last Sunday of every month, so you can always catch me there. So I hope to see you there, if not in this next jam workshop in one of our upcoming ones. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I link in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.